Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday, so it's time for our Agile, not-so-Agile episode of The Daily Stand-Up. And today I thought I'd talk to you about something really interesting. So I had an opportunity recently to, uh, someone invited me to read a book by Don Miguel Ruiz. And uh, it talks about the four agreements. And I think that this is an effort to help people both in their personal and professional lives to improve their leadership effectiveness, to improve their happiness, and to improve their overall well-being, right? So I think that I want to just briefly go through each of the four agreements. I don't have time to do the whole list of everything about each agreement, but I would strongly encourage you, if you haven't read this book, to grab this book. It's a very good book. It's something that's an easy read, and it's something that I feel would help bring you personal growth and joy, right? Okay, so the first of the four agreements is to be impeccable with your word. Now, in his own words, I'm going to quote him here. He says, speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Now, impeccable is one of those reserved words for me. I don't use impeccable often and not because I don't want to. It's just because I take it very seriously. When I say something is impeccable, that is just perfect. It is beyond words, right? And and I think that when you, and I love the way he started this off, speak with integrity. I think too many people use their words loosely. I think too many people say things just because it's what someone else wants to hear instead of saying what they really mean. And I think that sometimes we become so accustomed to a world filled with, and I'm gonna go here, snowflakes, that it makes it hard for us to be impeccable with our word because it's easy for us to judge others and to gossip and to make assumptions or to just draw conclusions and come in with bias. I think it's important for us to use the power of our word and to promote truth and love. I love the way he finished that. That's just awesome. And I think that there's not enough of that in the world today. I can end right there and this would be a good podcast episode. Number two, don't take anything personally. I'm going to share his words again. He says, nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. When you're immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. This is a big one. Uh, you know, when I was with my kids uh, oh, a while back when they were much younger, uh, one of them said, this person made me feel this way, or this person hurt my feelings, or I feel this way because of this person. And I challenged them. I said, can anyone make you feel a certain way? Or do you choose to feel that way based on what happened? And I think that sometimes when other people say things that are hurtful, We shouldn't take it as a projection of who we are, but we should take it a projection of their reality. And I think that sometimes when we uh, let people rule our feelings or judge us, it causes us to become weak. And I don't think we need to be the victim anymore. I think that it's important for us to understand that, you know, I'm sorry that someone else feels that way. And I'd love to help under, I'd love for you to help me understand why you feel that way, but I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I'm not going to let it take me down a path where I don't have the energy I need to do the things that I need to do to be sustainable. I'm not going to take it personally. I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to take it personally, right? And I think there's a clear separation there. Once again, powerful, powerful, powerful. Coming in at number three, don't make assumptions. I'm sure we all heard, you know, when you make assumptions, it makes a, out of you and me, right? We, we, we've heard that before. But here's what he said. He says, find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. That's the big one. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Now, I don't know if many of you have, uh, I know many of you have taken my class, but I know some of you have not. One of the things that I talk about in class is that this class can be life-changing if you let it. I say that all the time. And people look at me like, that's crazy talk. But this is what I mean by it. If you can just change this one thing where you you stop judging people based on 
who they are, who they love, who they worship, what's going on, what your cognitive bias says about them or how they feel. If you are clear about what your goals are and about what you hope to achieve and how you want to grow, if you can clearly communicate with others and uh, try to avoid misunderstandings or avoid being sad or angry, this agreement is the one that really carries all the others. I really do think that if you can stop making assumptions, it's just going to make everything else flow better. This is the one that really does transform you and all those around you. Finally, always do your best. Here's what he says. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you're healthy as opposed to when you're sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you'll avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and self-regret. I think that if you just strive, and I love that word, strive to do better, strive to do more, strive to do what you can to make a difference in the world. And if you apply those things, you will always be doing your best regardless of condition. And if you do lose yourself in the service of others by doing your best and being your best, that's when you'll in turn discover who you are. That'll do it for Friday. I hope you have an enjoyable weekend. I hope this was meaningful to you. Go grab the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. You will not regret it. As always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well. Until next week, do take care.